All right, loves, so now we're gonna talk about an EOC style question. Again, my name is Dr. Erig. The formula on here is from the Georgia formula sheet and the question is from the DRC uh, Georgia practice. So let's talk about how this can work and how you can use a calculator to help you. So first of all, notice how it says recursive formula. If you go to the formula sheet, look at where it says recursive formula. What do we notice? We notice that all recursive formulas have a n minus one. So right away, before I even try the problem, it cannot be letter B because that has n plus one as the subscript. And it can't be letter D because that also has n plus one as the subscript. So really, I'm deciding, is it gonna be letter A or is it gonna be letter C? So now, we're gonna kinda plug in the numbers. Well, remember that I told you that A sub one is always the first term. Okay, so if we look here, our first term is seven. So that's why it has to be letter C. Now, what they're trying to do is they're trying to trick you. And how they're tricking you is remember, how do we go from seven to 11? We add four. How do we go from 11 to 15? We add four. How do we go from 15 to 19? We add four. That adding four is the common difference. That's what we add or subtract. So in this case, we're adding or subtracting four. So that's why it's C. Because first of all, it couldn't be B or D because it has plus one in it. And then the first number is seven. So it has to be A sub one is seven. That's it. Now, let's pretend they didn't, but let's pretend that they say, what's the recursive formula? Okay, I'm sorry, what's the explicit formula? Remember this from the other slide. You go to the formula sheet and you copy the explicit formula down. Then you erase. What do we erase? Well, what's A sub one? A sub one is my first term. So I'm gonna put in seven. I don't touch anything with ends in it. Then I'm gonna erase the letter D. What's the letter D? How many times it goes up? Done. Now, they might try to get sneaky with you and they might wanna have you simplify it. So I'm gonna show you how you simplify it. This seven comes down and this is for simplify. This four gets distributed to here to become 4n and to here to become minus four. Then to make math pretty, we typically would write the 4n first and it says you have $7, seven and then you spend $4, how much do you have left? $3. So how you could check it on the graphing calculator is I'm gonna Windows arrow key to get my calculator up. Let's delete all this fun stuff. Is you could double check it by just typing it in the graphing calculator. So I'm gonna type here f of x equals seven plus four times. Remember, don't write n, write x. And then I'll just say m of x for Michelle, my first name, it doesn't matter. The one that I think it is and see how it's the same line? That means I simplified it correctly. And this is a great tip we're gonna talk about a lot, especially when you have multiple choice questions and you're comparing functions. Anytime it's the same graph, it's probably the answer. So that's how you would simplify it if you need to. Bottom line is, anytime that you see arithmetic sequence, like numbers going up by adding or numbers going up by subtracting, the tip is open up the formula sheet, open up the calculator, and make your life easy. The end.